Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to look at the idea that heavy objects fall faster than lighter objects and see why this is generally not true. So let's look at what we know about gravity and these types of objects. So first of all, our quick answer is do they fall faster? No. Under gravity, all objects will fall at the exact same rate. So it doesn't matter if you have a very large object here and a very small object. And let's say that this is a large mass. Let's say this is 10 times the mass of the smaller one. They would still fall and strike the ground at exactly the same time. So if this took, say, five seconds to hit the ground, then guess what? This one is going to hit the ground in five seconds as well. It does not matter what their mass is. Now, why is this often a misconception? We, we know that if we drop a rock in a piece of paper, they're not going to fall at the same rate, that the rock is going to hit the ground first. But it's not because of its mass. It is because of our atmosphere. Lighter objects will have a larger air resistance. So there is an additional force acting in addition to gravity. We don't just have gravity acting here. We have also the air resistance. And the air resistance will work stronger on a lighter object and stronger on an object that is more spread out. Now you can do this experiment yourself. If you take, say, a book and a piece of paper and drop them at the same time from the same height, you will see that they do not hit the ground at the same time. Now take that same piece of paper and crumple it up and drop them again from the same height and you will see that they do strike the ground at the same time. It is not the that the mass is different because you did not change the mass of the paper by crumpling it. All you did was change its shape and make it less uh, subject to air resistance, making it fall at the closer to the rate that it should. So for example, and one of the famous examples would be uh, Galileo when he supposedly did the experiment from the Leaning Tower of Pisa and dropping a wood ball and a, um, a wood ball and a uh, iron ball from the same point and letting them both fall and finding that yes, they strike the ground down here at exactly the same time. Now, what would there have been a slight difference? Yes, the lighter ball would have felt more air resistance and would not have fallen as quickly. But you would not have the significant difference that you would expect under the physics that that held at the time. So we found that yes, under gravity, all objects fall at the same rate. So how can we test this? Well, here on Earth, we could do it in a vacuum chamber and see how objects fall. But we can also do this experiment on the moon. And this was done by the Apollo 15 astronauts. And we can go ahead here and watch the clip showing uh, when they dropped a hammer and feather at the same time on the surface of our moon. Well, in my left hand, I have a, a feather. In my right hand, a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? Now you notice there that the yes, they hit at the same time. Also note how slowly they fell. Now, not only do they fall at the same rate, but they fall slower on the moon than they would on Earth because the moon has a lower gravity. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary here. And what we've looked at is that all objects in a gravitational field will fall at exactly the same rate. So every object will fall at exactly that same rate.
Air resistance in the, uh, in the atmosphere can slow down the lighter objects. However, as we saw in the video clip on the moon, a hammer and feather will fall at the same rate on the moon in the absence of the air resistance of an atmosphere. So that concludes this lecture on heavy objects and light objects falling. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.